Hey y'all, I'm back for Black and Crew Chicago Season 2, Episode 9. Um, the crew, they're on their way to the Dominican Republic for um, Don's wedding or whatever. Um, Don and Ford, they decide that they're going to take a later flight from the crew or whatever. Um, the rest of the crew, they get there at the house and they checking it out and stuff like that. Then we get Don and Ford, they're at the airport and everything. And Ford's like, you know, I didn't tell Don about the girls being in the DR or whatever because, you know, I feel like it's Ryan's responsibility considering he invited them and everything. Um, Charmaine, she gets naked and dives into the pool or whatever. Um, you know, and meanwhile, you know, Don and Ford, they're checking out the house and everything. Don, he gets stretched out on the bed, you know, checking the bed out. And then he gets back up and he sees Charmaine in the pool. And he like, oh, hell no. Nah. You know, he sees the other girls or whatever. Um, Don, he comes outside or whatever and saying to Ryan, I didn't know the girls was going to be here and all this other stuff. And, you know, he's telling Charmaine to put something on. And he's like, you know, Ashley is going to flip out or whatever, whatever. So then we get Van and his girlfriend, Jennifer, they're out for drinks or whatever. He's upset because he can't go to the DR, of course, due to his probation. Um, he introduces um, Fendi to um, Jennifer or whatever, and, he, and he, tells Fendi, you know, he tells Fendi, you know, this is my girlfriend, Jennifer, and everything. And Fendi is like, who? You know, and Jennifer reiterates and says, you know, I'm his girlfriend and everything. And, um... Fendi asks, you know, have we met before or whatever? And then that's when they flash back to when uh, Jennifer saw um, her on um, Van's phone or whatever. And so um, Fendi says, you know, I understand you guys want me to, you know, be in the threesome with you guys or whatever. But um, I've been practicing celibacy. I said. And I'm with Van. Like. The way you was up on him at the club the week before or whatever, swapping lemons with him and shit, like, okay. I mean, I mean, maybe she is practicing celibacy. I don't know, but, um, okay. But anyways, um, you know, she says, but, you know, she thinking about coming out of celibacy for him or whatever and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, I think she more interested in doing something with him versus doing something with him and Jennifer. So then Jennifer, she brings, she, you know, was like, you know, two could play that game or whatever. And she brings in this guy named Julian for a threesome or whatever. And Van, he is not with the shit at all. He's like, you know, um, I thought a threesome was supposed to be with two girls or whatever, blah, 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 and all this other stuff. And he's like, you know, why you got on this Chip and Dale's outfit for? And, you know, Jennifer's like, you know, why you embarrassing me like this and everything? And he's like, you embarrassing me? Um, bringing this dude in here with this outfit on and everything. I'm like, oh, so now you mad. But you wasn't mad and all this other stuff when you were swapping lemons with Fendi in the club the week before. And having her sending you pictures and all this other stuff. You wasn't thinking about embarrassment then. But anyways, um, you know, Jennifer is like, you know, you wanted to, um... You, she's like, you want to invite a person who don't even have sex or whatever. And he's like, if you want to invite a person that, um, don't have on no clothes. I'm like, well, I mean, if we want to get technical, the goal is not to have no clothes on if you're going to have a threesome. <laughs> like, I told y'all last week, I, I just, I think threesomes are bad ideas for relationships and marriages. Well, it's just, it's just, I don't never see nothing good really coming from, you know, a situation like that. But anyways, um, you know, Julian is like, you know, uh, is it, are, are you okay with sharing your girlfriend and all this other stuff? And he compliments her, compliments her on her legs and he starts rubbing her legs and shit like that. Then he gets up and smacks his hand like, you know, don't be touching her and all this other stuff. And, you know, Jennifer's saying that he's being very hypocritical, which is true. Technically, it is true, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Van, he walks out or whatever. He pissed off at this point. I'm like, oh, you mad because your girl played your game better than you did. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm starting to kind of sense that maybe, you know, Jennifer just wanted to prove a point. Maybe she really didn't want to do a threesome. I don't know. How do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like she was really down with the threesome or... She just was trying to prove a point. I'm kind of starting to think maybe she was just trying to prove a point now. But anyways, um, we're back in the DR. Um, Don, he's talking to, um, he's talking, you know, he's talking shit about Charmaine, you know, talking about 
her floppy ass titties and her floppy ass and all this other stuff. And I'm like, but you fucked her. <laughs> I mean, you fucked her. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't saying all that then. But anyways, um, Four and Kat, they haven't spoken since the whole situation with Nikki. And, you know, Kat, she feeling some type of way about it or whatever and all this other stuff and she's feeling some type of way with don because she wasn't invited to the wedding she's like i'm your sister or whatever and don is like look ashley and charmaine have issues and all this other stuff and you know ashley felt like none of them was fucking with her because of him and charmaine is like you know that's the past you know it's over and done with whatever whatever and everybody makes mistakes and whatever so then we get Ashley, you know, she's going to the DR in two days. She'll be in the DR in two days or whatever, and she still doesn't have a dress. She's at the bar with her friend, and her friend is telling her, you know, that she needs to take her time, and you know, because it's too much mess that's going on, you know, with the whole baby mama situation and everything that just happened. Ashley is like, she doesn't understand why Candace is bringing up old mess when her and Don's relationship is in the good space. I'm like, oh, maybe because the shit just recently happened. Like, you acting like as if this shit happened two years ago and uh, Candace still harping on the shit. Like, you know, I was like, I mean, no, this shit just happened. You know what I'm saying? So that's why she bringing it up. Like, y'all haven't, like, been in a good space long enough for you to be talking about getting married and all this other stuff. But anyways, um, Ashley says, you know, is what her and Dawn wants to do and all this other stuff. And, you know, Candace feels like pretty much she's only doing it because Dawn is about to go, go to jail. Which I do agree or whatever, but, I mean, it is what it is. Ashley got her mind made up. So, moving on from that, back in the DR, um... They're all at the beach and everything, and, you know, uh, Charmaine is twerking again, twerking, 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 um, you know, because she doesn't believe that Dawn has changed or whatever, and she's, you know, flashing her tits or whatever, and she keeps chasing Dawn, and I was just like, Charmaine, girl, that ain't your place to, uh, determine whether he have made a change or not, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, you're doing too much, you know, um... But she chasing him around or whatever, flashing her tits and all this other stuff. And, you know, I was just like, <laughs> but anyway, so uh, they're back at the house and uh, they're in like the pool or whatever. And I don't know, Charmaine was trying to play with Don's toes or whatever. I was just like, and then we get, um, you know, Cat and Four or whatever. She's trying to play, look like she's trying to, you know press her toes up on his little ping ping or whatever and um you know cat she brings up you know nikki and everything and you know cat starts calling him out about messing with nikki at the same time you know that they was dating and all this other stuff and how a close homeboy of his told her and everything and i believe he was messing with them too at the same time or whatever but Anyways, you know, uh, four, he's not feeling it. He wants to, you know, run away or whatever. Cat, she gets up to follow him and everything. And she's like, she's tired of being treated like shit by the men in her life and all this other stuff. And four was saying that, you know, um, he wasn't, um, he wasn't fucking with them at the same time. Like, he's still denying it or whatever. And, you know, Cat is like that he's full of shit and, you know, um, he says that he fucked um, Nikki before, you know, he got involved with her. And Kat is saying, so you fucked her beforehand, before you got involved with me, and you didn't stop and all this other stuff. And so, for he gets all quiet all of a sudden and everything. And Kat is angry, and she calling, you know, her, I mean, calling um, Nikki in um, for a bunch of goofies and all this other stuff. And... You know, uh, four is like that. Yeah, I love you and everything, but I'm I wasn't in love with you. You know, it's a difference. And Kat is saying, you know, you know, she's talking about all the stuff that four told her how they was gonna be together forever and how you know he loved her and everything. Blase, blase. And um, Kat, she, you know, she's, you know, she feels regretful of it now, and she's saying that she can't help, you know, that she, you know, because she does give a fuck and everything and all this other stuff, and, you know, she kind of regrets, like I said, she regrets opening up to him at this point, and then he walks off, and they both saying fuck you and all this other stuff. So Kat is talking to Danielle and Junior about what had happened, what just happened or whatever, and, um, 
she pretty much just wants four to own up to his shit and all this other stuff and you know junior pretty much tells her you know she you know you don't need that shit or whatever you know continue to do your thing you know you just had your art show which was you know which was a success so just keep on doing your thing and you know he was saying that he was you know so shocked to see her like that because she's usually very strong and all this other stuff but she'll get through it um then we get Van again. He's talking to his daughter or whatever. And, you know, uh, she's teaching him some shit on Instagram. And he's like, what you know about Instagram or whatever? And she's like, no, I don't have an Instagram, you know, but I have a Snapchat and everything. And she says, you know, it'd be girls that be, like, sending sexual stuff to boys. And then it gets around, you know, school or whatever. And Van, he's freaking out because he's like, you know, she can't be hearing about sexual stuff, you know, at 14 and everything, blase, blase. And, you know, Van is shocked that kids her age are doing stuff like that. And, you know, um, she's like, you know, but I respect myself and all this other stuff. And, you know, so I would never do nothing like that. And he's kind of glad to hear that and everything. And he's talking to her about guys and how they can influence her and how he doesn't want her, you know, dealing with anybody that's not going to treat her right. And having this conversation with, you know, his daughter kind of made him realize that he needs to you know, do right by Jennifer and everything. And, you know, he needs to be a reflection of what he's telling his daughter. So, um, so I'm glad he's kind of opening up his eyes now. <laughs> Anyways, um, moving on, we're back in the DR or whatever. Um, Charmaine and Kat, they're talking. And, you know, Charmaine brings up the argument that, you know, Kat had with four the other night. And Kat explains and, you know, she talks about her previous relationship you know, being abusive or whatever, and Charmaine is shocked because she didn't know. Um, Kat was too ashamed to tell Charmaine and Danielle or whatever about, you know, the abuse, and, you know, um, Kat explains the build-up, you know, the build-up of the abuse, how first it was just arguing, and then it turned into other things, like, you know, he sexually assaulted her, he, you know, strangling her and smacking her. And I really felt bad for Kat in this moment that she really went through that and everything. You know what I'm saying? Despite the fact, you know, of the shit she been doing this season that we all, you know, have not been liking or whatever. I really felt bad for her in this moment that she went through that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, she, you know, she said that she, you know, at one point, you know, was, per you know, pretending to be suicidal just so she could get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Just so he could, you know, stop. And then, you know, um, Charmaine was like, but what if he would have, like, really took you out or whatever, you know? And Kat, she starts breaking down and she opens up about being in the hospital and how it opened up her eyes and everything about how, you know, she could have possibly let this dude take her out or whatever, take her away from her family. You know, this dude that she hadn't even known as long as, you know, she's known her family and everything. And, um... You know, Charmaine is telling her that she needs to get it out and not to hold it in and everything. And, you know, um, Kat, you know, explains that she was with the guy for like a little over a year. Well, a year and a half or whatever, you know. Um, Charmaine, now she understands more, you know, why Kat is upset with Four and all this other stuff. And Charmaine says that Four should have, you know, supported her and not did what he did to her and all this other stuff. And, you know, um... I do agree or whatever. Um, yeah, it, it was for, fucked up for for um for him to do what he did, knowing what um Cat went through. For Cat to open up to him and him knowing, you know, the shit that she went through. You know what I'm saying? But um, um, I want to say this, for, you know, for Cat, like you know, sometimes folk folk is not going to you know um own up to the shit that they did. They're not going to own, and you have to kind of get to a place where you um accept that sometimes you know people are not going to own up to their wrongdoings or the shit that they did even though you feel like you need that or whatever sometimes you have to go through life without you know that person owning up to um what they did or you know them just sweeping it under the rug or whatever sometimes you just have to you know you have to you know just take that and, and move on from it for you you know what I'm saying? You know what happened at the end of the day or whatever. So it's like, you know, you just have to, you just have to let it go or whatever. I know, you know, it's hard and everything because it, it does feel like a breath of fresh air when the person does admit to you, yeah, you know what, I did do that. That was fucked up. That was wrong. But like I said, in the harsh reality, 
some people just ain't going to own up to the shit that they do. But you can't let that stop you from growing and continuing on um, doing what you have to do for your growth and everything. So, yeah, Kat, you know, it just you just got to let that, that shit go, you know, before or whatever. But um, anyway, so moving on from that, uh, we get Van. He's doing a tattoo for his friend. And his friend was the one who taught him how to do tats. And I think his friend's name was D or something like that. Um, he's telling, you know, Van that he wants, you know, a tattoo for his daughter and all this other stuff. And, you know, um, D, you know, he, he's married and he has two kids and he, um, lost his, he had, you know, him and his wife had twins that they lost, you know, from a stillbirth or whatever. And so his daughter, you know, his daughter is like a miracle baby because his wife had, you know, their daughter after, you know, um, they lost the twins and everything and, you know, D is asking him about Jen, and, you know, Van, he explains that, you know, uh, he explains his temptation, and, you know, when he first got um, out of the boot camp and everything, and, you know, he's talking about how, you know, talking to his daughter made him, you know, pretty much open up his eyes and everything, so, um, moving on from that, we're back in the DR, um, real quick, Ryan, he's spending time with Ariel, and, you know, He's really feeling her, so, well, you know, whatever, which we already know. So, moving on from that, we get the bachelor party, and, um, Charmaine, she doing, like, she was twerking this whole goddamn episode. She twerking with the strippers and everything, and she, um, you know, all up on him and all this other stuff, and Danielle is like, uh, this is the guy that's getting married, you guys need to be more focused on him. And, you know, he starts to try to, you know, he starts licking on the strippers and everything. And meanwhile, back in Chicago, <coughs> excuse me, um, Ashley, she's, you know, with her family or whatever, looking for a dress and everything. And, you know, uh, Don, he's dry humping on the stripper or whatever. And then next thing you know, Don runs upstairs and they notice that one of the strippers is gone as well. So... The girls, they run upstairs to, you know, uh, spy on him, and they put their ears to the door or whatever, and they pretty much hear Don fucking the stripper. We, we, you know, hear, you know, the stripper moaning and, you know, whatever, whatever, and then Junior, he comes upstairs too or whatever, and, you know, like I said, meanwhile, Ashley is looking for her dress and all this other stuff, and Charmaine, she pretty much knew he was going to fall into, into temptation or whatever. But she's like, damn, like, two days before your wedding with the stripper, though. And, you know, it's just, I mean, that's what Ashley want, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I, yeah, that pretty much, you know, was the episode. Um, Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Um, If it's some stuff that I left out, which I don't really think it was really nothing major that I left out, but... Um, yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel about, um, this episode. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys come back and I will see you guys. Well, I want to wish you guys, you know, a, her a early happy Thanksgiving or whatever. And, you know, make sure you enjoy your families and everything. And, um, don't get too full up off that turkey or whatever. But, um, <laughs> and I don't think Empire comes on tomorrow. So, you know, I will see you guys, uh, I guess Sunday for, you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta. All right, y'all. Peace.